welcome to our altar server training video my dear children thank you so much for serving our lord and our community as our altar servers the holy sacrifice of the mass is where we gather as a community of believers as children of our heavenly father to worship our god and offer the same sacrifice our lord jesus offered for our sake Altar servers are the closest to the altar of the Lord after the priests. This is a great privilege and honor and let's maintain a sense of reverence, love and prayerful atmosphere. We begin the procession when the cantor or the choir starts singing the entrance hymn. We walk slowly and reverently. When we come before the altar, stop a slight bow and proceed to the back of the sanctuary to place the cross and the candles the cross stand is right behind the sanctuary wall but the candle stands are in the sacristy please place them on their respective stands After the cross and the candles are placed in their respective stands you go to your chair but while going to your chairs chair number 3 takes the roman missal with him or her once you are at your chair make sure that you have your hands folded your full attention is on the altar and what the priest is doing the next part is when the priest prays the opening prayer after the gloria is sung so towards the end of the gloria you will bring the roman missal to the priest the priest will take the roman missal open it and give it to you and you hold the roman missal leaning it towards your chest so that the priest can pray the prayer well without you shaking the roman missal and then once the opening prayer is over You take the Roman Missal back to the credence table and then go back to your chair. The next part is the offertory. The offertory begins after the prayers of the faithful. And once the priest is seated in his chair, the cross bearer who occupies the first chair goes to the credence table. brings and places the roman missal first on the altar and then goes back to the credence table and brings the chalice back to the altar and then he or she goes back to his chair while the other two altar servers they bring the wine and the water make sure the cruet's handles are facing the priest so the priest can hold the cruet and pour the wine and water into the chalice once he prays the prayer he turns to the altar server for washing his hands and that's when the altar server with the water the bowl and the towel pours a little water in his hands so he washes his hands purifies his hands and dries them with a the towel and then he places the towel back on your arm you both make a slight bow place everything back on the credence table 
and go back to your chairs. The next part for the altar service is when the consecration prayer begins. During the epiclesis, where the priest extends his hands over the gifts, the bread and wine, that's when the altar server rings the bell just once to call the attention of the congregation to what is happening at the altar, the most sacred time of the Mass. Then the priest takes the bread, says the prayer of consecration, and then he elevates it, showing to the congregation. The altar server rings the bell thrice. Please watch how the bell is rung. Again, the priest takes the chalice and then he says the consecration prayer and once he finishes praying that prayer, he elevates the chalice and shows it to the congregation. It's no more wine, it's the precious blood of our Lord. And at that moment, the altar server rings the bell again three times. The next part for the altar service is at communion time. All three of you come up to receive communion. You come up in order. You receive communion. And you go back to your chairs. You go back and kneel down and spend some time in quiet prayer thanking our Lord, asking the Lord for special graces and blessings. That's a very sacred time for you, just spending with the Lord. While the priest is giving out communion, chair number three comes to the altar and clears the altar. Take the chalice back to the credence table. You take the Roman Missal back to the Credence table. There is nothing left on the altar. Then you take the Roman Missal with you to your chair for the closing prayer. When the priest let says, pray. let us pray, you bring the Roman Missal to him. He takes it, opens it, and gives it back to you. You hold it firmly without shaking it and the priest prays the final closing prayer. We call it the post-communion prayer. And then once the post-communion prayer is over, you go back to your chair and from there, all three of you go back to the sacristy. Place the Roman Missal on the credence table. The candle bearers you take the candles in your hands, cross bearer takes the cross and you are ready to process out. As the priest gives the final blessing, you slowly process and wait there in front of the altar. And the priest comes and together you make a bow. The priest makes a profound bow, whereas the altar servers, you make a slight bow. And then you turn around, you process out slowly. And that concludes our Mass. Don't worry about making mistakes. If you do make some mistakes, the priests are not going to yell at you. They are gentle and they may correct you gently so you can learn and serve the Lord better. God bless you. See you at the altar of the Lord.